So once I've got this dark tone established, I'm just going to lighten it slightly by adding a little bit of the darkest of the neutral greys. And then this is with the size 6 filbert. And make sure you get this edge here of the tree so that you've got that silhouette shape on the edge of your canvas. Now I can just jump to the next tone along. So this is the neutral six. Just add a little bit of the blue to that. So just by using these tones to start with, they just give you a nice base for the painting and then you can just subtly tweak them. So it's slightly warmer on the tree on this left hand side. So I'll just put a tiny little bit of the burnt umber in with it. use that same colour in the rest of the painting where you've got all these warmer areas. I go a bit darker, jump down to the next darker grey. Now we can start off with the lightest grey tone, the same neutral eight that we put the background colour onto, and then just add some of the blue to it. And you can see how that gives this this lovely muted hue. It's going to be great for this first area coming through. And a bit darker for the top of the sky. You can also now add a bit of the white to this mix. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of glazing liquid.
because we've got that ground color underneath, I don't have to paint it really, really thickly. I can use the color that we've already got established because if you notice here on our reference image, we've got this smoky sense of a cloud behind it. So by having that gray underneath, it can work really well to your advantage. So again, a bit more of the glazing liquid. And then jump to your next string. Bring to your lightest tone. And then you can use some uh, paper towel when you're working just to help clean your brush. If you're working on it and then you want to go on again with a cleaner colour, just work it into the paper towel so it's practically dry and then you can work on your colour again and it will just give you that cleaner colour on top. So then I'm just going to be working with the glazing liquid, just working over the joining line between the top cloud and this bottom lighter area. And by working over the two when it's still wet, you get this lovely smoky feel to your clouds. Again, a bit more glazing liquid on the bottom. We can use those same tones, just darkening them off slightly to give this indication of the snow on the trees. And some white, a little bit of the grey, and some of the blue. touch more of the grey and then I'm going to split that mix into two tones as well. So it's very subtle but the top mix has got more white in it and this bottom mix will be perfect for the bottom area of the snow. So again you can just clean your brush out into the water more glazing liquid. Start off with the darker of the two lighter snow blues. Blue just on some of those edges. And then just jump to your lighter white snow mix. I 
can just swap to a smaller brush. This is a number four and this is a black hog brush. This is just for any little bits of refinement that have got, um, a, they're not quite as smooth. So if you're looking at areas like this where you've got um, a, a bit of scrubbery underneath the tree, when you have an older brush, you notice how this has got uh, sharper bristles, you know, it's got lots of paint on it, it's been really well used, this brush, and when they're a little bit older, they often have stiffer bristles to them, so for painting shrubbery and things, they can be really effective, because you just get this little area of a broken edge, and that sits nicely in contrast to the rest of the smoother qualities in the painting. So now you can just look around the painting to see if there's any parts that you want to tweak or slightly adjust the tones that are there. It might go a bit more intense on the blue here. A little bit more warmth in the sky. So mod dark areas in the trees, just give these little spaces for your eye to work in, just to look through so it just breaks up the shape. a final bit of extra white just to push the focus in the centre. And then you can reinforce a couple of the tree trunks just with a real dark colour. Okay, and here's our first winter scene study. Just by using those two colors and the neutrals, you've really got this lovely, cool, wintry effect. <laughs> 